Preston here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up Google Site Kit on your WordPress website. Why do you want to do that? Well, the key thing is you want to make sure that if you have a website, you're tracking things properly and you're not putting things in places that they shouldn't be, like your Google Tag Manager or your Google Analytics. Google actually came out with a really cool plugin that makes this very simple to do. All you're going to need access to is having a Gmail account as well as access to your WordPress website and admin access to your WordPress website. I'll show you exactly over my shoulder how I set that up in about five minutes minutes. All right. So what you want to do is you want to use Sidekit, which is the Google official Google plugin. I just searched it here. And as you can see, I went ahead and I activated it already. Um, I didn't set it up as yet. So I went through, I got all set up and activated. It has about a 4.5 stars. So I'll look at some of the reviews to see why maybe people are saying they don't like it. But nonetheless, there you go. This is the plugin that you're going to need. All right. I've tried it out. It works pretty awesome and pretty seamless, especially if you're not much of a coder. So once it's installed, we're going to go over to Sidekit and then Dashboard. And then once that loads up, you're going to start the setup. I'm going to let it track the data anonymously. I'm not doing anything shady on here. So I'm fine with Google finding out what I do. You might choose to not select that. And then the first thing you want to do is you want to verify ownership of your Google Analytics account. So we're going to go ahead and do a sign in with Google. And then it's going to go ahead and ask for which account I want to get signed up to. And I'm going to go ahead and look at the permissions in here. That's fine. Go ahead and hit allow. Then it's going to ask me to link Java Logics to access to my Google account. So that's fine. That's what I want to do. And now that's set up search console on here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my dashboard. And now the sidekick is linked to it with search console connected. And as you can see already, we can see some traffic stuff trying to come in here, what keywords, how useful is this to have this right in, right in your dashboard, right? Now we also want to connect um, the Google Speed Insights. So let's go ahead and do that. That's connected, as easy as that. And as you can see, if you come down here, the Speed Insights will show up here in a few seconds. And then we're going to want to connect Google Analytics. Let's give it a second. See the Speed Insights so it was loading in the meantime. My internet has been acting a little weird this morning, so let's see how that does. Ah, look at that. I was getting links for auto SEO companies. So that's kind of good I'm here. So this is what I'm going to use to connect my analytics account. Again, it's going to ask me to connect it. And it's pretty much just following through clicks. So it's a lot easier than the old ways of putting code and adding plugins and, you know, going into tag manager and setting containers and all that kind of stuff. I find this is even way easier than doing it that old math, the old fashioned way. Just going to let it load up. It looks like it's already connected. It's trying to get some data. All right. So while it's doing that, I'm going to go down to settings because it looks like already I got I got analytics on already. So like, look how easy that was to do. Yep. So I've got analytics is not connected. So it's maybe I went too fast. Oh, you know, you know, you're right. I didn't, I didn't do the module setup. Sorry. Try to be too fast here. Just gonna like wait. We just pause it. All right, so now you see it's loaded up. It took a little while there for it to find it, but it actually did find the Java Logics account, the property for Java Logics, and the account that I want to follow, which is my raw data one. I usually do clean up that uh, the analytics that comes in so I can remove bots mm -hmm. and so forth. But for this one, I'm just going to use raw data, and then I'm going to go for configure analytics. And as you can see, now I've got paid speed. I have got traffic. Um, some really cool stuff right here from Google Analytics right in here to show you what's happening on your site. Um, so pretty solid stuff. We've got 20 goal completions happened in the last 20 days. Um, so looking good. Um, the speed one is still taking its time to come in, but it'll come in soon. All right. Now let's go in and take a look at um, adding some more information. Let's go ahead and add the tag manager, right? So the tag manager is where I have a lot of my content. So let's go in and connect more items. Let's go ahead and add Google, set up Google tag manager. Again, I'm going to click on here, go through. All right, that's the right container, right account, confirm and continue. Just like that. Now we have site traffic. We can see how much traffic we're getting. Nice, beautiful graphs. You can also show the search funnel so we can see how many impressions we're getting, how many of them turning into clicks, how many unique visits we got from search, and how many goal completions we got. You can see pop how popular different pay keywords are for you. You can see what pages are most popular for you. And I'm not sure the 
duration. Oh, last 28 days. I can check that over the last 20 days, last 90 days if I wanted to as well. All right. And you can also see in the last seven days if you want to see if there's been a spike. Notice it takes a little bit of time to get going. You can go directly to search console from here. You can go directly to analytics from here. Huh. It was showing on the previous one I did, it had the speed insights right down here. And for some reason, it's not showing it here. So I guess the site is just so fast. Google can't figure out how to do it. All right. So, and also if you want to add things like AdSense to it, you could do that. Um, another one that I think is a really cool idea to do is add Google Optimize. So if you're doing any ads and you want to split test um, button colors or positions and so forth, um, you can use that inside of Google. That would be adding in Google Optimize um, to do that. But I don't have a Google Optimize account for this. Actually, I do, but um, I don't need to, I'm not going to install this one right now because it looks more advanced. And, and you can also add AdSense on your site so you can start placing money if you're getting traffic coming to you. All right. I think that's it. Yeah, that's everything for this set for this tutorial. Hopefully this is helpful. Talk to you soon.